Hello everyone. Back again with another video. This is Johnny Alabama. What we have here is one of my uh, scallop, uh, scallopandria, uh, scallopandria uh, species, uh, centipede, my Vietnamese uh, giant centipede, if you may. Uh, this is actually what got me into the uh, hobby of um, tarantulas, believe it or not. Um, I like I like the scalapendra uh, species, but what I'm going to talk to you all about today, well, this morning, is I've been doing some reading, and um, I get notification from um, Google uh, through a certain program, but... Um, Yes, um, I've been doing some uh, reading on this new species that was found uh, in Thailand, you know, Vietnam, in Vietnam, in in Vietnam. That is a swimmer, and <laughs> it was discovered back in 2001, and by this guy named George. Um, I forget his last name. Um, I want to say it's Bacaloni, Bacaloni. But, uh, whatever. Forgive me if I'm getting that wrong, but <laughs> he was on his honeymoon, according to his statement, and, um, he was alongside a, a stream, and he moved a stream, and he moved a rock that was near the stream, um, and the rock was a little bit submerged in, in water a little bit, and when he moved the rock, he seen something move, so he lifted the rock, and when he lifted the rock, he seen a centipede that was, he described it as a a greenish black, something like broccoli, more of a, we know how the Scalapandria um, Pandria group have that nice greenish um, outside bluish tint. And he said when he lifted the rock, this species ran for the water instead of for the forest. And, um, excuse me for the, uh, <laughs> the uh, sirens. I stay close to the, uh, the police station, which is like a block down the street. So, but yes, he said when he lifted the rock, the, uh, centipede ran towards the water instead of the river, which in, in a sense could have been of confusion to him, but to see it take off into the stream and start swimming. And to notice that it was up under the rock, submerged underwater, was odd too. So he took it back to um, a research facility. Um, I can't remember the name, but um, instead of me just guessing on the name of the place where he took it, you know, um, I advise you to do some research um, on your own. But pretty much everything I'm telling you here is based off um, actual reading that I've done did myself. And um, I actually got a video of it that was um, sent out by, um, and I'm going to try to attach it to uh, this file somewhere in the comment um, section below from, I think, a called uh, Latest News Asia. And it's a YouTube channel. Um, you can also look that up. But the, the new species group is called uh, Scalopendra um, Cataract. Yeah, I say cataract. Yeah, it's, it's cataract because that's Latin for waterfall, right? I'm not good with, like, certain things <laughs> when it comes to Latin terms and things of that nature. But, yes, the, um, the, I'm pretty sure that's the name, of this, the name of the species. And they also, when they did a DNA test on it, because George did uh, collect the specimen, and he took it back with him to have some work done on it. But when they did do a DNA test, they did find that it was two other species um, that was found that had the same um, DNA makeup. Now, when I first got my um, my um, Vietnamese um, centipede, she lingered by the water container, and then I found her sometime halfway in and halfway out of the um, water container, which was small, about this high. And about that big around in her, uh, I got her in a 10 gallon aquarium with substrate 
this high so she's able to burrow and it's, it's pretty decent i'll do a video on that later but um yes to see her linger around the water was kind of odd so me and as a beginner and in complete panic you know worrying about my specimen dying or, or being drowned which what you hear and about certain species and, and tarantulas and things of that nature dying because you ain't got rocks or things of that nature like like cotton balls in the um, water dish but she actually stayed in the water dish until I removed it or filled it up because I, that's what I eventually did filled it up with uh, coconut fiber and start watering it there so she'll, she'll be able to go and drink it out of that now this little girl right here she's 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 pretty good you know i don't have no mate for her i know she's a female but i don't have a mate for her. um i probably start like a, a centipede colony colony which is forbidden to some people and some people don't recommend it but to me you know i mean i think they they get along in harmony um striving together in a big enough aquarium but yes, and back to the new uh, species, the Scalopendra um, cataract. Uh, I think it'll grow up to at least about eight inches. This girl right here is um, at scratched out. She's she's pretty much eight inches too. She doesn't look like it right now, but she's pretty big and she's a good eater. And she she don't give me too many problems. You know, she will attack me if I if I move her a little bit. But yeah, all right. I just wanted to share this video, uh, this is a little small video um, of the new species and of my Vietnamese um, centipede. Uh, just to let everyone know that there is two new, well, we can say three, because I think it's like eight species in all, give or take. Um, maybe more, but we can add on three. The one that George found on his honeymoon, plus the two, one in Thailand and one in Vietnam some some part there that was discovered as well along with that that uh, that uh, group that species so yes we can safely say there's three and I would like to see that in the hobby but this video that I'm gonna um, add in the comment um, section below if I cannot attach it somewhere in this video I'm still new so I'm, I'm learning and I'm gonna try to attach it somewhere so we um so whoever looking for it can find it all right thank you guys and signing out johnny alabama with an update of three two to three new scalopendria species awesome all right, there we go.